The study of uh, the Chicxulub impact crater, as it's now known in the Yucatan Peninsula, we know it's been fascinating. It's been like a tremendous detective story, trying to put the pieces together to understand how this happened, how the, our biosphere completely, was completely changed by the impact of this asteroid 65 million years ago in the Yucatan Peninsula. We know that it brought tremendous changes. Um, it, there was uh, wildfires, there were tsunamis, there were earthquakes, and, um, in, and this was something that uh, really changed the face of our planet 65 million years ago. And it also, due to this event, it gave an opportunity for mammals to really evolve to what we are today, the Homo sapiens. So we had some help from the stars to, to get to where we are today. Uh, the discovery of the Chicxulub impact crater was really a fascinating story uh, because the Alvarez, the, the father and team, um, proposed this idea and actually wrote a paper in 1980 in Science proposing that the reason that, that uh, 65 million years ago there was a massive uh, extinction, which included the extinction of the dinosaurs, was due to the, an asteroid impact, or a, an, an asteroid of the size of about six miles or 10 kilometers. So this was incredibly controversial. We had, we didn't, the science community responded um, with the question, okay, if this was the case, then where is this large impact? Uh, where is the signature, the crater that must have been left by this uh, global demise? And the crater was yet to be found. It really took 10 years to dis rediscover the Chicxulub crater. And um, I, with a team of, uh, of archaeologists from NASA Ames, were able to look, um, discover the signature, the surface signature of this impact using a Landsat data, remote sensing techniques, in which it show a semicircular feature in the Yucatan Peninsula, which is the only surface feature left from the buried impact crater, which is about one kilometer in depth, uh, which now is known as the Chicxulub impact.